Hello everybody, I'm Gary Massa with Massa & Associates and welcome to the Insurance Edition of Tips Tuesday. Now, one of the last things that people think about when buying a home is getting homeowner's insurance on the property. But would you believe it that right now that's one thing that's actually delaying closings, uh, delaying removal of contingencies, and in some cases putting people's deposit at risk. These days with the California uh, wildfires going on, a lot of insurance companies are actually stopping to do the coverage or believe it or not, if you're in one of the few different various fire zones here in San Diego, we have a lot of different fire zones, but if you're in one of those different type of fire zones, it could cause your insurance levels to go up two to sometimes three times just to get the home covered. And aren't you going to want to know about that really early on in the process besides like when you're forced to actually close or not be able to close on the property because you can't get insurance and the lender requires it. Here's three things that you can do um, to make sure that you don't get in that position. Number one, consider uh, starting the conversation with your insurance broker very early. If you already own a home and you have insurance, reach out to them, let them know that you're about to buy a new home or that you're starting the process and any, you know, help understand anything that you need to know in going into that process and start the open lines of communication early so then when you do find that right home you can submit the address to them and they can start working on letting you know what the cost is going to be and if it can be covered really really early on number two as soon as you get into escrow um, get that insurance declarations page start on that day one so that way there you know what the cost is going to be you know what's in place and that way there when it closes escrow it can be paid that insurance declarations page uh, is basically like your invoice or receipt that will be paid and you can get insurance on the property or start right away and you don't have to worry anything longer the rest the rest of the process number three sh i would encourage you to shop around now your insurance brokers you know will be able to give you lots of different opportunities it could be a, a one-stop shop where they can do all the shopping around for you uh, but also sometimes in the higher fire zones only the bigger companies will be able to write those policies at a much better rate now again most likely the policy can be written in one form or another but again like I mentioned it could be two to sometimes three times the cost so the more that you shop around and the more you talk to different people two things will happen a you'll you'll understand what your, the best options are for your coverage and B you'll start you know you can start to get educated by the different insurance providers on what the coverage means what type of coverage is available to you and just so at the end of the day you can be sure that you're as pre as protected as possible so you don't have to worry in case there is anything bad that ends up happening to your home you'll be covered I hope this information was very helpful if you have any questions whatsoever please let me know again I'm not an insurance specialist but I knew I do know a few good people that I can connect you to to get all your questions answered thanks again and we'll see you next Tuesday